course in Asian studies, Japanese, Chinese, Korea, the whole egg roll, and I will not be interrupted by your... Oh, now who could that be? Hey. Oh, how exciting! It's my correspondence karate course! Says here I need a training partner. Hey. Yeah. And you're it! No way, uh-uh. Woodpecker, I'll give you a year's free rent to train me for my big test. Did you say a year's free rent? But you must do everything I tell you, Mini-san, for obedience is the way of the woodpecker. <laughs> to learn perfect karate rhythm, you must cut sushi rolls to the beat of ancient music. Use the strength of your wrist to flip the sushi over your shoulder and onto this plate without looking. <laughs> How did I do, Master? Oh. Fine, you're a winner. You've earned your sushi belt. <laughs> but I think it's time to work on your balance. You must lift your left leg higher. Then, uh, uh, lift your right wing like a crane in flight. Perfect. Right there. No, no. For the balance of the crane, you must lift your right leg like the crane. I mean left wing. No, right arm. I gotta get cable. Using the ground to break your fall was a masterful choice, Mimi-san. When are we gonna start kicking butt and taking names? First, you must learn concentration. What's happening? Ignore all distractions. Focus, Mimi-san. Focus. Yes, Master Woody. Yes, Master. Yes, Master. Yes, Master. This is ridiculous. I don't see any of this stuff in my training manual. You gotta train me like it says in here, or no free rent! Uh, attack like the silent cobra. Okay. You go hide in your house. When I come in, you try to sneak attack me. Oh, now we're talking, Woodpecker. I'm a cobra! Hey, hey, Chummy, is that cheese for Wally Walrus? Nope. Says here it's for Woody Woodpecker. Have a nice day. I love a good stinky cheese. You can hide, but you just can't run, Mimi. Hmm, I must have taught her too good. She could be anywhere. I see your training is going well, Miss Mini. I am here to test you. If I don't pass, no free rent for you, Woodpecker! Buddy, 
I need help. I'll give you my whole collection of kung fu movies on Betamax. But you gotta fight her for me. No can do, Woody-san. The test begins no. Well, then there's only one way to play this. <laughs> you have no courage. You run like the nose of my sister's baby. Your red mane is mine, infidel! Cyclone of Death, A+. Plus. Most impressive. <laughs> Tightrope of Terror, A plus again. <laughs> I must say, you are an amazing training partner, Woodpecker Sun. Yeah, it's all just wax on, wax off. You know what I'm saying? Actually, no. Woohoo! Mimi, you passed the karate test. That's a year's free rent for me. I should have taken French lessons. <laughs> Knock, knock, knocking on my door. Oh, is it one of my oh so many party guests arriving early, perhaps? Huh? <gasps> Strange. I do not see anyone who is there at all. I have moved to these farthest moist reaches of the Antarctic so that I could have parties as wild as I want and would not be disturbing people. <laughs> yeah, yet, my guests do not seem to be arriving for the party of the year. Hmm, I am wondering who of everyone I know can that be in my big comfortable water bed? Why, your little tuxedo is exquisite, my friend. <gasps> you are my very expensive caterer. Please, then, to go to the kitchen and work your little tails off preparing the party of the year. <clears throat> I have ordered this ice sculpture of the handsome horse, which would be me. Please decorate it with some pretty flowers and whatnot. Make it nice, colorful. Plus, make it snappy, my extremely petite little caterer. Uh, what is my sleepy head caterer doing now? Ah! It is so hard to find good help. Your behavior has outraged my sense of fair playing. I will now give you only one more chance, my little problem maker. Now get to work pulling the salt water taffy. For it is whimsical and yet so unexpectedly transcontinental to serve taffy at the party of the year. <laughs> If that boy thinks he's getting a dip, he is sadly mistaken. Can I ask you something? Have you been a caterer for very long? Hmm? Aha! So you are new on the job. That would explain. Uh, what? You are not new on the job, and you are not. Uh, wait a moment! A thought has now stricken a blow to my brain. 
You must be one of my specifically invited party guests. <laughs> Are you the Canadian Prime Minister? Hey. Are you Princess Beatrix of the Netherlands? Wait, it cannot be so. You are my long-lost cousin, Serge, whom I have loved and missed dearly since childhood. Oh, I can now see it in your beady little eyes. Serge! Oh, we are reunited at long last. Serge, you must help. The caterer has failed to arrive. Together alone, we must prepare for the party of the year. You will help me by inflating their balloons, yes? Then you will blow like zo. Now you. What is it now, my very irksome and not long enough lost cousin? Perhaps it is what we call a blockage. Similar to what is the problem in that little head of yours, cousin Serge. Remember how you used to dance the disco all the time when we were children, huh? Well, tonight you will do nothing but be my disc jockey, yes? Huh? Listen to those crisp highs and boom titty boom lows. <laughs> you are no caterer! You are not cousin Serge! You are a party crasher! I punish you deeply from the party of the year! The guests will no doubting it be arriving soon. I will be on the lookout. <laughs> which is now breaking my back into measurable pieces! Uh-oh. Just ah! wait until I get my claws on you, you miserable... My guests! Welcome to the party of the... Huh? Are you, uh... Mr. Bear, we've had complaints of a loud party going on here. But this party has not even started, eh? Let's go, buddy. Come on. But this is an outrage, I'm telling you now. I will report you to the Prime Minister, the Princess of Outer Caledonia. It's time for another day in the life of Captain Goodlife. Oh, boy. Captain Goodlife is on. He's my hero. Oh, pour me a glass of carrot juice, will you, Wimpole? Already poured, sir. Uh, be a good chap and drink it for me, then. Won't you, Wimple? Right <coughs> away, sir. <laughs> now, burp for me. Won't you, Wimple? Yes, sir. This show always slays me. <laughs> I wish I had someone to wait on me hand and foot and clean up my messes just like Captain Goodlife. Hey, get that cheeseburger off your beak and take a look at this. Uh -huh. The simple U2 home cloning kit lets you create an exact duplicate of you in the comfort of your own home. Have twice as much fun, get twice as much done with a bona fide clone of your very own. Clone of my own? That's right. 
Don't delay. Order your U2 home cloning kit today. Hey, if I clone myself, I'd never have to do anything for myself again. Even Captain Goodlife doesn't have a clone. Hi, this is Woody Woodpecker. I want a U2 home clone kit. Special delivery for Woody Woodpecker. <laughs> Pour the blue gene gel into the bubbling beaker. Add your own genetic info. Huh? If you're a woodpecker, a tail feather will do. What? Pluck my own tail feather? Just do it. Boom. Yeah! Wait a minute. If one tail feather makes an exact copy of me, then twice as many feathers should make a twice as good copy of me. <laughs> Say, not a bad looking woodpecker. You're almost as handsome as me. Pretty good work, if I do say so much. Yeah, 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 good to meet you. Nice to know you. Nice place you got here. How much does a treehouse like this go for, anyway? Look, you got no tail feathers. What's up with that? Blah, blah, blah. Enough of the pleasantry. <laughs> Take a chill pill. <laughs> You're here to make my life good. So, for starters, you can stop the blabbing. And let's see, I want... Yeah, go get me uh, my... Get me slippers. slippers. Huh? How did you know? I'm you, remember? Wait right here. <laughs> Watch it! Hey, not bad. Now, let's see. I want to live the good life, just like my hero. Captain Good Life! And to live the life, you have to look the part. You need a Captain Good Life custom wardrobe. Hey, out! Watch it! Ugh. Hey, what do you think you're doing? Nope, 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 nope. Not good enough. It needs a chapeau. Now, wait a minute. I... And for the piece of resistance, a Hawaiian skirt. You're angry, am I right? Yes, I'm angry. You're here to serve my every whim. Not turn my life into a circus act. Yeah, 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 you're angry. I get it. But what say we try and lower the old blood pressure just for funsies? And I know just how to do it. Know how I know? Because I'm you. And I know what always cheers you up is... A hot fudge sundae! Am I right? Ha, ha, ha. Am I right? Am I right? Well, this is what I eat to cheer myself up. Glad I thought of it. Hey, I made two more. You want one? Hey, look! I made two more! How about two more? Two more! Two more! Two more! Two more! Two more. Okay, let's eat. You are a mess. Listen here, you loudmouth, pushy, out of control woodpecker. Takes one to know one. Hey, know what you need? A nice warm bubble bath to calm you down and clean you up. I'm all over that. I've created a monster me. I gotta get rid of him. Me, uh, him, me, he, before I destroy. It destroys my life. <laughs> There you go, a nice bubbly wobbly bubble bath, the way you like it. Join me? Who, me? Sure! After all, I like everything you like. Yeah, but I like lots of bubbles. <laughs> sure, the more the merrier. <laughs> as many bubbles as possible. <laughs> Come to Papa! Oh no, oh no you don't. <laughs> Take one more step and the duck gets it. The only person who doesn't get it here is you. Hmm, if he's me, then I'd probably pop up next in a disguise. And the disguise I'd choose would be... Hello, don't mind me. I'm just on my way to the theater. Abraham Lincoln. I'll just practice my speech as I go. Four Jaws and seven Star Wars ago, our godfathers brought forth upon this incontinent a new notion relieved of ribaldry. Hey, what's this? Oh, no. You can't do this to me. I've got your whole life ahead of me. Please, I nailed you. Whew. 
And remember, good life of tears, don't try to live the good life alone. You need someone else around to clean up the messes you make. Until next time, this is Captain Good Life saying, have a good life. Now this is the good life. <laughs> I'm Smedley T. Chuckles, world's most amusing amusement park builder. Hee <laughs> joy buzzer. Gets them every time. But enough yucks. I have purchased 99.99% of Antarctica. Why, you ask? Cheap land and lots of it. To build Winter World, the world's most amusing amusement park. Home of the Avalanche, the world's most amusing roller coaster. Your house is right where the avalanche will roll. So, I'm here to buy your chilly little domicile. Uh, just sign here. <laughs> yeah, I got a million of them. Uh, jokes, not pins. Whoa. Hmm, little fella does not seem amused by my generous offer. Yup, this little guy's sure gonna have a lot of liquid assets when I get through. This here is Winter World's gateway to fun and amusement, where our motto is, whoop de doo Park's most amusing rides. You don't just bump into your friends, you bop their cars for big yucks. Sorry, little fella. I know you're anxious for the fun and games, but. Freeze, you little ice monkey. You can't just. Now, hold on one belly laughing minute. This fella's chilly reception is really starting to shave my eyes. Fresh snow cones are an important part of any amusement park. Deadly silly snowball toss is my own amusing variation on the old shooting gallery game. Huh? If that little guy is asking for trouble, I will happily oblige. I'm definitely not amused by you, you little fun wrecker. Now I got you. Um, help? Oh, how humiliating. 
I'd target in my own amusing arcade. <laughs> If this little guy wants a snowball war, I am just the joker to give it to him. There is more than one way to knock down an igloo. Stay right. Tick, 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 tick. Avalanche roller coaster is ready and fully amusing. You know what? I honestly do not believe this is a gift to celebrate the opening of my park. Mama always said it's more amusing to give than to receive. Hey, <laughs> little fella's stronger than he looks. the egg loo. World's most amusing amusement park king surrenders. Quits. Gives up. It's over. Goodbye. Farewell. And do not follow me. <laughs> Fault, Miss Meany. Hey, what's all the racket? They're having a garage sale. A garage sale? Anything good? Cheap? Hey, you can't sell my motorcycle helmet. Hey, that's my helmet, Woodpecker. No way. I wore this back when I was the coolest hippie at the Moonbeam Commune. I was the coolest hippie at the Moonbeam Commune. The Moonbeam Commune? I was Moonbeam! You mean Over that was there? you? I can't believe it was you two! Moonbeam Commune, free rent, free food, free friendship. Oh, wow! Right on! This is my kind of place. Hey, Mama, says you got free food here. Oh, like yes. Free as the wind. We share everything at the Moonbeam Commune and we all work together. Care to share? Work? Oh, no, not this woodpecker. I just gave away free veggies from the commune garden and got two free tickets to the Mod Baboons concert in return. The Mod Baboons? Oh? Uh? That's the concert of the decade. Oh, please take me, man. Please, please, please. No, Moonbeam. Take me to the Mod Baboons concert. <laughs> Wait, I have it! Whichever one of you proves you are the most helpful hippie brother at the commune will be the one I take to the concert! Now paint the house and make it sing with color, man! Not gonna happen, not gonna happen. Oh, no, no, sir. Hit the road, woodpecker. <laughs> Moonbeam wants this commune to sing with color, then I'm just the go-go bird for the job. Flurb, flip, flying, flip, flip,
man. Cool. Like, what do you call that? It's so, it's so colorful, so, so delicate. That's what I call it, man. Psycho-delicate. Cool. Far out, man. So, Moonbeam, looks like you'll be taking this woodpecker to the Mod Baboons concert tonight. He's taking me. Me! Oh, yeah? Boys, I haven't made up my mind yet. And there's still plenty of work to share around the commune. You made me look like a lazy crazy in front of Moonbeam. Uh, in front of her? Behind her? You're a lazy crazy no matter where you stand, Wally. They'll see, Mr. Smarty Feathers. You bet. I will just switch this red dye for the soap. Here's the soap for the wash, my loving commune brother. Thank you, loving commune brother. Oh, Moonbeam! Come here and see if I... Fix me on the eaves, Grey Wally! Oh, oh man! If Moonbeam sees this... Okay, okay! Hello, boys! Oh, my! Gee, Wally! Looks like you got dye all over Moonbeam's clothes. Moonbeam, it's all his fault, but I will help him correct and clean up everyone's laundry. Yeah. Don't you do anything of the sort, Wally. <laughs> this new look, it's bits. Why did you tie me? Tied everything. Tie dye, you say? Well, you certainly invented a whole new clothing style. It's beautiful. So, so you take, take me to, to the, the concert? concert? You two go to the commune garden and pick what's for dinner. Then I'll decide, like, who I'm taking. I will pick more food than you. <laughs> from the likes of you two! Money rocks, man! Oh, oh, hey, you remember bell bottoms? These might fit me. Those were the days, man. Yeah, the two hippies! Hey, look at all the money we've made. Don't go away. I'll be back soon with another cartoon. <laughs> a nice day. What? Whoa. Mimi's happy, friendly, and she's enforcing me to do her yard work. What's wrong with her? It sure is a nice day, neighbor. It sure is a nice day, neighbor. Oh, man. I think Mimi's been turned into a robot. <laughs> Wally, give me that. Ah! Oh, oh. Oh. Replaced by a robot! What? It's just like those Space Invaders movies. 
first they start by changing one. But soon, they take over the neighborhood and turn everyone into robots, man! Yeah, yeah, I remember that movie. I couldn't sleep for a week. Wally, you will become one of us. I don't want to be a robot. Then we've got to stop her. But how? Water. If she's a robot, yeah, a spray of water will make her short circuit all kaplooey. Yeah. But robot Mini needs is a speedish car wash. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I'll go tell Mimi we're gonna wash her car. Then I'll get her to show us how to open the hood. When I give you this signal, you turn on the water full blast. Yeah, the signal. Hi, neighbor. Uh, yeah, uh, look, we want to wash your car for you, Mimi. That's a neighborly thing to do. Yes, get to work, neighbor. You'll do a nice job, I'm certain, because it's such a nice day. Why didn't it work? Woody, the horse is... <laughs> it was his idea. I didn't know it would go all kaplooey. No problem, neighbor. It's nothing a little elbow grease can't fix. You'll need some sheet metal, a radiator, some primer, new tires. And while you're out, why don't you neighbors stop and have an ice cream on me? Uh, oh, robot, 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 robot. We gotta get proof meaning's a robot. And a picture's worth a thousand words. When I climb up and throw the rope down, you come up after me. Then we'll sneak in through her chimney and catch Meanie robot-handed. A-okay, Wally! Oh, would you hurry up? <laughs> oh, my lucky day. I think we made some noise with that. Accidents happen, neighbors. But I'll clean it up. Then I think I'll go clean up every house on the block. Oh. It's only a matter of time before everyone on the block is turned into robots. We have to go set up this electromagnet and zap her circuits good, yeah? This will be the power source. Once we plug the wires in, it'll magnetize the whole upstairs of the house. home is a happy home. This home is a happy home. This home is a... Oh. Ooh, she's coming! Yeah. What do we do? What do we do? The robot's gonna get us good, yeah! Oh. This home is a happy home. This home is a... This home is a mess! How to be a good neighbor, my aching butt! 
onions! These self-help books are a load of hooey! You mean you're not a robot? I try to better myself to be a nicer person, but what does it get me? Deadly squat! Ah! How could this home ever be a happy home when I got two loons living next to me? It sure is nice to have the neighborhood back to normal. Ah, you said it, Woodpecker. No more robots. Maybe I ought to burn your houses down. <laughs> what are you laughing at, Bird Boy? <laughs> Congratulations! You've just purchased Mega Hot 1000, the hottest furnace in the known universe! Your Mega Hot 1000 has the heating power of 10 suns, comes with a lifetime warranty, and even makes hot chocolate and julienne fries. I'll bet you're ready to bask in her warmth right now. Then what are you waiting for? Pour in the fuel and fire her up! You do have fuel. <laughs> oh, what a glorious day off from the Antarctic core. No pressures, no responsibilities. No fuel! Halt, civilian! You think you could just waltz over here and commandeer this fuel, do you? What are you wrong, son? The finder's keeper's laws do not apply in this territory. I have one day's R&R, &R, and I have requisitioned this fuel for myself. Short stuff, uh, no, uh, sudden moves. Well, this thing could, uh... Combustibles container, and I cannot allow his transfer to non military personnel without form 5674 and 127 croquet. In triplicate. You're a snappy dresser, but you're not too government savvy, are you? Hasta till next time. I outrank you. Who could that be? Yes? Oh, a salesman. You're selling a satellite dish that'll get this soldier 500 channels? Perhaps no creature has adapted better to this cold climate than the penguin. Every day, these noble, flightless birds must use their wits to survive. <laughs> 
at you again! to save yourself now. Oh, right. You don't talk. <laughs> ah, lucky I remembered to borrow the platoon cookbook. Let's see. 800 onions, 50 pounds of salt, ah, half ton of flour. <laughs> Turn off stove. Kiss the fish. Okay, stand on one foot, cover your eyes, and count to 100. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Whoa, gourmet cooking is hard. Nine. Sold out, pal. This line is for people who bought in advance. I just gotta see my favorite players up close. <gasps> Tweaky. That sports nut is more loaded than the bases before a grand slam. Oh, oh, oh. maybe you'll buy these underwears worn by Big Bob McGurney in the. Uh, we're out of the sweaty underwear business, Tweaky. You and me is now in the stealing this woodpecker's wallet business. <laughs> We gotta get him out of this crowd. I told you, the game is sold out! <laughs> Hello, sports fan. Looking to see some big time baseball stars up close and personal? Ah, uh, I can't. The game's sold out. Well, I am Coach Buzz Buzzard from Buzzard's Fantasy Baseball Camp. Where you get to play real baseball with real baseball stars. And today I'm offering one lucky sports fan, yeah, that would be you, a free membership. Just follow us. Free? Woohoo! Take me out to the fantasy ball game. What kind of sports camp is this? What? Uh, well, it's the kind that's uh, out of the way. So those big baseball stars can hang out real private. Great. Let's get playing. Oh, yeah. Hey, why don't you go through the clubhouse there? Whew. Smells more like an outhouse. Stealing this room's wallet's gonna be tougher than I figured, Tweaky. Go make us a baseball field, and fast. Welcome to Buzz Buzz at Memorial Stadium. This is a 
cornfield. Oh, it's the uh, field of my dreams. Uh, yeah, let's get you uh, warmed up. We'll use our new automatic pitching machine. Uh, you stand right here. Play ball! The wallet, we can get the wallet. Okay, I'm ready to play with the stars. <laughs> yeah, well, not until, uh, well, you still need to work on your, uh... Slide. That's it! A real pro knows how to slip and slide with the best of them, sport. And I'll give you a little something extra to get you going. Excuse me? Huh? Oh, I said I'll uh, give you some extra pointers to get you going. Now, try a head voice slide. It'll get you into pace faster. <laughs> you were sliding. Yeah, there's no stars at this camp. I'm out of here. Wait, I think I see one of the biggest baseball stars of all time. Tweaky, go be a star player or we'll lose this jump for good. Your fantasy camp is nothing but a fantasy, Coach Buzzard. Indeed he do. May I give you the famous Babe Birdie? Ah, I'm the world's biggest baseball star. Hmm, how come I never heard of him? He's, uh, the best kept secret in baseball? So, you think you're pretty good stealing and running and stuff, huh? Well, I bet you can't handle my pitching. Give him your best shot, sport. I'll teach these low balls to use baseball to steal a guy's wallet. Batter up! Knock him in the next week, Tweaky. Then we'll get his wallet and van moose. Yourself to a meatball. <laughs> My custom slider. <laughs> Watch out for my bee ball. Twinkie. We'll get his wallet if it's the last thing we do. The woodpecker's running bird for home. Yeah, and you're gonna be out cold at home. The woodpecker makes a spectacular catch. Would you look at that woodpecker play ball? in play. Big Butt McGurney. Wow. W would you sign my glove? You know, anybody who loves baseball the way you do deserves a front row seat to the big game today, Mr. Woodpecker. <laughs> Next time we watch the game on TV. <laughs> uh, 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 <laughs>